Another month, another DJI drone hitting the shelves. And today, after the usual round of cheeky leaks and sneaky previews, it's finally out. DJI Mavic Air 2 S. I've been holding on, I wouldn't let you go. Cause every time I try, you find a loophole. I've been slamming the door and just leave you go. When I come back, you've heated up the South Pole. You see my body rush for the escape. Oh, my heart wants to stay. Hello. I'm Ian and I play with drones and today is my favourite kind of day when we finally get to see the full deal on DJI's latest offering. Today it's the new DJI Mavic Air 2S, new and improved version of this, the Mavic Air 2, released exactly a year ago and is easily my favourite all-rounder drone. Because the Air 2 gave us huge improvements over the original Air, almost doubling the flight time, new style remote control that initially I hated but very quickly fell in love with, coupled with uh, OcuSync 2 transmission system and its massively improved range, very impressive wide angle front and back obstacle avoidance system, active track, half inch sensor, blah blah, went on. So literally that was then, this is now. What is so good about the new Air 2S and why should we care if the Air 2 was such a great bit of kit? Well for me, the biggest leap is going to be the new one inch 20 megapixel sensor, being very similar to DJI's flagship model, the Mavic 2 Pro. Larger sensors equal larger actual pixels, which mean better quality pictures, especially in lower light. And the 20 megapixel resolution will be actual pixels, not effective. So you will see a great improvement in your still shots. And of course, now that opens up the option of the new super ultra high definition video resolution of 5.4K, which can be shot at up to 150 megabits per second. Have to admit, I'm not 100% sure how useful such a huge video, uh, video resolution is going to be for everyday videos, but for me, getting such a big improvement on still pictures is a huge bonus here. And of course, the ability to record video in 10-bit colour brings the video log standard up to Mavic 2 Pro standard as well. Why settle for 16 million colours when you can have a billion colours? But look, seriously, 10-bit colour is a huge improvement, especially when you're filming scenes with gradual colour changes like sunsets and skies. You're far less likely to get colour banding and being able to film up uh, to 150 megabit per second, th this is all just adding up to be a huge, <clears throat> huge improvement, I think, in, uh, in, the, in the camera. And of course, all those pixels mean the ability for some lossless digital zoom when filming in lower resolutions as well. Last point though, on the camera, I know that some people were hoping for a variable aperture like the 2 Pro has. It's a bit of a shame, you're not going to get it on the 2S. Uh, I guess you're going to need the uh, set of ND filters that comes with the combo. I'm kind of also guessing DJI probably want to keep some specs for the new 3 Pro whenever that may appear. But look, uh, for me, still a huge, huge upgrade. Let's take a look at the overall body of the 2S itself. Similar in size and weight to the Air 2, just 25 grams or one ounce heavier. And of course, next most noticeable feature are the Porsche headlight style up-angled avoidance sensors. Uh, quite why it's taken DJI so long to implement this, I don't know, as this now makes it possible to keep obstacle avoidance working when the drone is in sports mode, uh, shooting along at a much steeper pitch. It should also allow a steeper pitch when flying in very strong wind, as previous models limited the pitch to ensure that obstacle avoidance was still working in normal mode. So as I see it, having these upward sensors at this new angle is going to be a huge improvement on two fronts. I should say the Air 2's uh, sideways obstacle avoidance sensor was always pretty impressive, especially considering it didn't actually have any side facing sensors. Um, its wide angle uh, forward facing sensors always helped keep uh, the Air 2 out of harm's way. And the new Air 2S has got the same super wide angle sensor of 71 degrees. So coupled with those uh, two new upward sensors, it should be doing a very, very good job at keeping itself from obst uh, hitting obstacles. But look, so with all those sensors also come some new intelligent flight modes. Again, the Air 2 already gave you some impressive autonomous features and its active track was extremely impressive. But the Air 2S brings a whole new suite of quick shots or master shots as it now calls them, including a really interesting option of a one tap on a subject with a fully automatic 10 maneuver shots in succession, which I think is going to really give some very, very interesting results. 
Now, the max flight time though has actually dropped a little, down to 31 minutes from the Air 2's uh, 34 minutes. A bit surprising, uh, as it means in practice we're probably going to be losing around two minutes actual flight time before the, the old uh, return to home starts kicking in. But look, as ever, I will be doing max flight time tests when I get the new model to see how this actually affects us on day-to-day -day flying. The remote is similar to the new style remote we've seen on the Air 2, the Mini 2 and more recently the FPV. And like the FPV it comes with OcuSync 3 which the specs are now stating is going to give an FCC range of up to 12 kilometers or 7 miles and a CE range of 8 k's or 5 miles. Now as ever it's not like you're going to be flying at those distances or ranges but what it does mean on a day-to-day -day basis is that signal dropouts should be even less likely. What is my take? So look, I absolutely love the Air 2. It was the right size, the right weight, uh, handled incredibly strong winds incredibly well without any issue and it did take amazing video. But the new Air 2S will give me far superior still pictures and it's even higher resolution video with full 10-bit uh, colours uh, to, to me is, is a massive, massive improvement. And with some of the new fun features like the smart shots, uh, I think it's going to be really, really good fun to play with. All coming from a drone that's pretty much the same size and weight as the existing Air 2. So for me this is absolutely worth the upgrade. For you, well look hopefully I have pointed out things that may or may not be uh, floating your boat. Obviously I have ordered the Air 2S and uh, it's being delivered tomorrow so I will be putting it through its paces uh, over the weekend and uploading as soon as I can. For now I'm going to leave you looking at the new beast again so until next time have fun, happy flying. Out of the way.